It was a retrospective of his at the Art Gallery New South Wales last year. And not this painting, but the painting one she has of his was in that retrospective. Tony Tuxon. How do you know him? Uh, I met, well, I was at art school in Glasgow and uh, decided to emigrate to Australia because it only cost ten pounds and you only had to stay two years <laughs> without having to pay your fare back. So uh, my head of department had had was from Glasgow, but he had lived in Australia for a number of years and taught here. And he knew lots of potters because he was a potter, potter himself. Knew lots of potters on the in Sydney and on the East Coast where he used to show. So he said, I'll give you two letters of introduction when you go to Australia. Oh, thank you. So I get to Australia. I was in an immigrant hostel and after a couple of days, I think day three, somebody said, oh, you should go to Paddington. It's beautiful, all this wrought iron and the architecture is beautiful. Go and mosey around Paddington. All right, so off to Paddington. And uh, then I noticed, oh, there's a gallery opening on in that gallery. I'll just go in there. <laughs> in I went to the gallery. I didn't know anything about Brett Whiteley, but it was a Brett Whiteley show. And I found myself in one room there with um, looking at paintings. So there was one other woman in the room and she came up to me and she said, oh, Hello, what you know, talked about the paintings, and then she said, Oh, I love your accent. Where are you from? From Scotland, just arrived. What do you do? Oh, I'm a potter, says I. I just finished art school, I was no potter, really. I said, Oh, I am too. Oh, that's interesting. And she remembers me saying, Oh, I'm dying to get my hands into clay again when I settle, when I find somewhere to settle. And she said, Oh, I've got a studio where I teach a couple of days a week. Come up to my studio and use it any time you want. This was day three in <laughs> Sydney. How he talked to this woman for ten minutes for ten minutes or something. And she said, I'll give you my name. Here's my name and address. And I said, Margaret Tuxon, I've got a letter for you from my head of department. <laughs> and so that was Margaret Tuxon, a potter from up the North Shore, and her husband was Tony Tuxon, who was the deputy director of the Art Gallery of New South Wales. And she became like a sister mother to me, mm. and she died a few years ago, and I was with her when she died. Yeah. And she, she and, and Chico were very close when he moved to Sydney. He used to go and play Scrabble and have roast dinners with her and, and uh, used to do a lot of help for her. And she was just an amazing human being. And her husband died oh, three or four years after I came to Australia. And he gave me two paintings. <laughs> he, had, he gave four paintings away all together of all his hundreds of paintings, he gave me two <laughs> because I was helping him take the taking the work back from Waters Gallery. He had them all on the top of his uh, of his station wagon, and I said, "What are you going to do with these paintings now?" I was twenty four, twenty five, quite naive, and he said, "Oh, he said, you haven't got much um, stuff on your walls. You choose two. And I thought he was lending them to me, but after he died, I asked Margaret, oh, what do I do with these paintings Tony lent me? And she said, oh, he gave them to you, but maybe he did, maybe he didn't, I don't know. But anyway, here we have them, and they've, they've been with Chico and Guanji since they were born, really. They've had these paintings around, and they've been a great influence on them, really. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Very bold. <laughs>